Hi guys, this is Ali from TechShare. Today I'm going to show you how can you host your web application in, in Firebase. So there will be two, um, two videos based on that. So first video I'm going to show you how can you host your web application, React based web applications. And the next video I'm going to sh show you how can you also host your web APIs. So you can write your web API using Node.js. And basically what you can do is you can write your cloud function uh, so that is basically a cloud function, and then you can host that Node.js application uh, in in uh, Firebase as well. And then what will happen is your web application that you hosted before, you can call that uh, Node.js application, and you can make your website totally dynamic. So that's the very magic, I'd say, the pretty pretty interesting or cool feature of Firebase. So today I'm going to show you how can you uh, host a sample, or we can say simple web application so let me create a web application just now um not it it won't be just a, you know it won't be very big one just a basic one so for example i already have created a simple web application so let me go and check check this one so i just have created on application called sample app so cd sample app let me see the content yeah so what i'm gonna do is i can open this one in visual uh, studio code so now what i'm gonna do is let me open the terminal and npm install okay so what basically uh, it does is it will since i just created the the web application so it will download all the necessary node uh, packages and everything so by this time what i'm gonna do is the very i would say the primary thing you need to do is go to your firebase console and create your um, create your um, project here. So I I have just created this uh, sample uh, sample hosting project. You can see this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this sample hosting project. So here here you go. So I have three projects, right? So this sample hosting project I have just created. What you need to do is you need to add. You, you can put your name here and continue continue. That should be enough. So that is pretty pre straightforward. So once you have this one ready, then you can jump into your web application. So this is the web application. So I'm just downloading all the necessary packages now. So once it is completed, then what I'll do is I will connect. I will connect this web application to this hosting application in Firebase. And then I, I can simply host my, my React based application here. So yeah, it would be basically a static um, static website for now because I did not add anything. This is just a default project. But what what you can do further is you can actually create um, your endpoints in Node and then you can connect from this web application to your Node and you can make your website totally dynamic. Okay, so it's now progressing quite fast. Okay, and um, another thing is you can see here this project will give you um, a different different things like you can add your authentication your database your your storage you can add the functions as well so basically this is function means nothing but the the web function or you can say the endpoints so you can host your endpoints through this function and you can quite easily create create uh, your apis and host as well so you can see here, this is there. So now I'm going to npm uh, start and see what I get here. Okay, so it's basically the hello world project. Uh, there should not be anything fancy, just the React loading, um, loading, yes, loading image uh, animation with some sample text. Cool. So we are going to now host this one to um, to Firebase. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to you need to connect connect to to your Firebase. So for that, what you can do is you can click, you can write Firebase login. Okay. So you can see here I already have logged into my account, so that is fine. And then what you can do is you can type Firebase init. 
okay so how i can access the firebase command line tools here because i have already installed as a global installer i have installed firebase tools so you can just install npm install firebase tools uh, in a global scope that should be fine for all the all the projects that you are going to create in future okay so now yes and then you can see uh, the different different options you have so what we are going to do now is hosting right so you can select this one hosting and press enter and now it is also prompt you that what you are going to do with that so use an existing project or create a new project so i'm going to use the existing project and then it will bring all the projects that i have so i'm going to use this sample hosting okay and then it is also telling you that which uh, directory you are going to host there so what we will do is we will create we, when we we'll, when we will build this project then it will uh, push everything to the build folder so what i am going to do is now i am going to write this build and then it is also allow, allowing to uh, to configure your application as a single press so for now i'm just pressing y you can press it no as well so based on based on your preference okay so now you can see that everything is quite done so what you need to do is you need to build the project first so what you can do is you can say yarn build that will and uh, that will create a build folder in your root directory of the project and everything should be there as a as a deployable artifacts so yeah so just wait for that so you can see here this is done and then what you need to do is you need to tell the firebase deploy okay so you can do that or if so the com the command is like this so you can say firebase serve then only and then you can say as a hot function you're going to do you can actually run your function your hosting or your function so right now i only have enabled for 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 hosting and you can even specify the port as well so if you run this one then that will actually allow you to to run this application locally so you can see this uh, localhost 8000 so if you even go here in the browser and if you click that then you can see this is running now locally so once you find everything is running locally then you should actually go further here uh, here sorry so let me stop that and then what you can do is you can say firebase deploy so that will deploy your whole uh, web application to the firebase okay so you can see here it is now uploading all the files and everything okay cool so basically that will allow user to to host your application here so you can see it is now running so you can basically create any application and you can host you can even you can even map this um this uh this url with your own domain okay you can create your we can buy your domain and you can map map this uh, url url to your domain and you can redirect that so let me go again one more time here and let me go this sample hosting project and i can see here the the hosting uh, so right now i'm inside the hosting and you will see your last deployment happens so you can see here there are a couple of deployments so i did actually twice so this is the current you can actually roll back anytime anytime to to for example if you want to roll back to this one so you can just simply click and roll back so this kind of a, an opportunity you will get automatically from firebase and you can also see this this is the this is the thing so this is the url and there is the other url so both both of these should be working pretty fine okay so further what you can do is you can create a new site so you can say some other site.com and then you can actually bind your website in different different sites so that will automatically happen you can again say something like um yeah so yeah so another thing uh, you, you should uh, you know you should note is if you for example try to access any any third-party api for example right now my web application doesn't have anything it is just default but your web application might have to communicate to any other apis outside from this firebase 
environment so in that case the the free account that you are going to use it will not work so what you need to do is you need to you need to add your um, billing address and your credit card or debit card whatever and also you need to make sure that your free plan should be converted to to your um, uh, some other plan so like right now i have this spark plan right so if you click that so it's spark plan plan basically a free free plan so free zero dollar per month you need to you know upgrade your account to blaze pay as you go for example so that will allow firebase uh, to access your application to any any external endpoints so for example if you if you have your uh, web application tries to communicate to any third party web api like your mongodb or your other you know endpoints definitely you would have you know required to to activate this blaze blaze plan otherwise it will not allow you to do so cool so that's all so so easy so simple but really really effective as long as there is no payment being made it's really really nice okay so that's all today and um, i'm i'm going to share in future all the details about my commerce light and commerce server you can see here those are already hosted so this is the commerce server uh, commerce light server i already have hosted i am testing this is now a testing phase so what i'm gonna do is um i will actually thoroughly test this one and then i'll release this one to the public and also this is the this is the web app commerce light web app where i have the same same web application that i showed before so that's cool um we'll we'll show you how you can create a sample web api or you can say cloud function and then you can host uh, through this firebase and you can really make your website dynamic so that is something i'm going to cover in future but till then have a good day good weekend bye bye we'll see you very soon